Tammy here. Figured while we are uh, all indoors with our children, I'll show you what I'm making for dinner. In here I have some Italian sausage that I'm going to cook up and brown it up really good. And then over here I have a bag of Italian style blend. I have some ricotta cheese. I have some cottage cheese because I like actually using both. And then I have some rigatoni noodles and I have a jar of pasta sauce. This is going to be all that I use. You can add anything else you want to this. If you want to add some veggies to it, some, you know, peppers and onions and carrots and, and you know, maybe some zucchini, you can do that. You can add in some different meats. You can add in some sliced pepperonis. However you want to do it, I'm just going to do it like this, really super simple. Um, so I'm going to put this together. My water over here is boiling. Who likes to watch hot water boil? steam. Anyway, I'm going to put all of it together and I'm going to bake it in the oven. So we're going to do kind of like a mixed up deconstructed lasagna. So uh, let me get this uh, finished and let me get the pasta in the water and I'll come back. Okay. So I like my brown, my ground meat to get brown. So I took it out. I drained it. There's a little bit of grease in there, but I drained most of it. And I'm going to the sauce. And the noodles back here are not all the way done. You don't want them all the way done. You can still see they're a little white around the edges. Because if they're all the way done, when you bake them for another 30 to 40 minutes, they're gonna turn to mush. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those off. What I'm gonna do here, put a little bit of this pasta water. Get all that out, honey. You pay for all of it. And the pasta water is going to be uh, starchy, so it's going to help. So, so. Okay, here we have the noodles. See, they're not completely done, see? And I've got this container of cottage cheese. I'm doing this best side. There's not a recipe for this, guys. So I did about half of this. I did half of the ricotta, and I did half a bag of that Italian mix. So I'm going to sprinkle in some Italian seasoning. And I'm going to mix this together first before I put the pasta sauce and the meat in. Okay, here we are with the noodles and the cheese. You know, since I'm not doing a lot of other stuff, I think I want this a little more cheesy before I add in the sauce. And I think I'm going to add part of the sauce in and then some more on top, I think. I don't know. This is kind of a play as we go. So I think I'm going to add some more of these. If you don't like cottage cheese, don't use cottage cheese. If you don't like ricotta cheese, don't use ricotta cheese. Use what you like. And then I also added in some black pepper and some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. That's looking more cheesy, so you can actually see the cheese there, so. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Right, let's, let's move over here. Whoops, sorry. Like, 
want it to be thick, so I don't want, I want to be able to cut it and it stay together. I don't want it to be able to be loose. I guess this is sort of like a zini. I just knew I wanted something lasagna like without the lasagna noodles. Up with some more cheese. There we go. Oh, that's nice. See the way that moves? That's nice. Oh, it looks good. Let's eat right now. If you're worried about it not holding together, you can put in a beaten egg. I should put that in with the cheese and mix that all together. Ooh, I have parsley. Let me put some parsley here. So I have. Casserole. Okay, here we are. Here's our casserole. I am going to put some sauce on top. And that'd be perfect. Just like a nice layer of that sauce on top and then that gooey cheesy noodle underneath. Okay. And bake this for about 30 minutes and then it'll be ready to go. So on these days here when we are stuck in our home, this would be a really good meal. Super easy. Like I said, add what you want to to it. If you want to add chicken to it, add chicken. If you want to add ground beef, do that. I did Italian sausage. It's what I had on hand. You can fill it up with lots of vegetables. I did this because I know Nicole like it. This is going to be easy to freeze. This is going to be easy to just leave in the refrigerator and pull some out and microwave it during the week when um, he's home and I like a lot of cheese if you can't taste. Okay. And then get some Italian seasonings. And that's it. This is our Italian lasagna, deconstructed lasagna casserole, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes and then I'll pull it out and show you what it looks like. Our deconstructed lasagna casserole. Okay, and that looks. So my battery's low. Have a salad. There's our deconstructed lasagna. Look at me. These little guys are biscuits. I didn't have any bread, Texas toast, nothing. So I took biscuits and I took string cheese. I cut the string cheese in half. I pulled the biscuit out. I dipped it in some melted butter with some Italian seasonings. I wrapped it around the string cheese and then I uh, put a little cheese on top and put it in the oven for like 12 minutes. So this is it. This is dinner, guys.